Hello and welcome to another IC3D Quick Bite. Today we're going to be taking a look at the interior and fill tool. I've gone ahead and made this bottle here in the 2D spinner tool. Now you can also make bottles in the shape modeler tool. Either tool will import properly. And what we're going to want to do is select the bottle, head over to our interior and fill tool, and just simply drag that on. From here, our template window should open for our interior and fill. And what we're going to want to do is first select between our glass and plastic material type. Now, since this bottle here is going to be a plastic bottle, I'm going to go ahead and hit the plastic option. But just know that the option for plastic or glass, all plastic will do is strict you to simply the wall thickness, while glass will allow you to use any of the options here. From here, we're going to select plastic. I'm going to do a one millimeter wall thickness. And here, I actually don't have an opening, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the opening as well. I'm going to hit apply the interior. As we can see here, our object now has a very thin one millimeter interior to it. So from here, we're going to head down to add fill. And this is simply the fill point depth from the top meaning how much airspace is inside of our model. So I'm going to go ahead and say maybe around 30, and then go ahead and hit Apply Fill. Once happy with our fill, now remember we can clear both the interior and the fill when we need to, but once added to the scene, you'll see that you won't be able to change the interior, but the fill is complete, <clears throat> but the fill is its own material being able to be moved. And if you double click the material editor, you can change the material. I hope you guys have enjoyed this IC3D Quick Bite. My name's Adam Chop, and stay tuned for a lot more videos.